Hey, this is Jeff with Filtered Ink. Um, for those of you who have wondered or have thought or maybe don't even know, just because you have a 1982 penny doesn't mean that it's a 95% copper 1982 penny. There are pennies in 1982 that they started switching over to the zinc and they don't contain the 95% copper. And here's an example. Um, we have a scale right here. I know, I'm pretty sure this isn't the official number as I don't think my scale is exactly, you know, super high quality and the fact that it's sitting on like a softer surface so it's a probably a little off but you can definitely tell, I mean, as long as you use the same scale over and over and you know the weights for yourself, you know, you can just compare it like that but um, here we have two 1982 pennies, um, the focus isn't great, well, this one comes out as 2.0 grams so this is actually a copper 1982 penny here we have another 1982 penny and comes out as 1.6 grams so like that's the standard deviation for my scale is you have the non copper 1982 pennies are between 1.5 5 and 1.7 grams and I've noticed with the uh, 1982 copper ones they are between 1.9 and 2.1 grams so just so you know not all 1982 pennies are copper and furthermore just from what I've seen non-officially is that it seems about 70% of the 1982 pennies are copper so it does seem that there are more from what I've come across that are copper than are not copper. So just so you know, and there are machines that will sort it out, um, whether they use magnets or they use a type of pushing electricity through it and then sort it out like that. I'm not exactly sure how they work, but yeah, so just so you know. Alright, thanks, bye.